Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn about the separation of substances. Before using substance, we need to separate harmful or non-useful substances that may be mixed with it. Sometimes we separate even useful components if we need to use them separately. Methods of separation Hand picking Threshing, winnowing, sieving, sedimentation, decantation, and filtration. Hand picking. Hand picking. The method of hand picking can be used for separating slightly larger sized impurities like the pieces of dirt, stone, and ask from wheat, rice, or pulses. The quantity of such impurities is usually not very large. In such situations, we find that hand picking is a convenient method for separating substances. Threshing Threshing, the process that is used to separate grains from the stalks, etc., is threshing. In this process, the stalks are beaten to free the grain seeds. Sometimes, threshing is done with the help of bullocks. Machines are also used to thresh large quantities of grain. Winnowing 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 is used to separate heavier and lighter components of a mixture by wind or blowing air. This method is commonly used by farmers to separate lighter ask particles from heavier seeds of grain. Sieving 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 is the process of filtering components of a mixture of different sizes. It allows fine particles to pass through the holes of the sieve while the bigger impurities remain on the sieve. Sedimentation and decantation When the heavier component in a mixture settles after water is added to it, this process is called sedimentation. When the water along with the dust is removed, this process is called decantation. Filtration 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 can be used to separate components of a mixture of an insoluble solid and liquid. Thank you. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.